First question is from Fun Size Nutrition. Mm. What's your take on Still. red light therapy? Does it actually help reduce the appearance appearance of cellulite? One hundred percent. If you saw what Justin's ass looked like before he started using the Juve Light, it's yeah, unbelievable yeah. how much so cellulite much cleared out. He had yeah. a lot of dimples yeah. before. A lot. Way less dimples now. Yeah. Actually, if you go I to wasn't his, getting any tips. If you DM, he'll show, he'll send you the before uh, and afters. <laughs> no, it's all stuff. Show. <laughs> okay, so you want to hear something crazy about this? Okay, this there is, is some truth to it. My right? wife doesn't like it when we talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is this is weird now. Red light therapy has some pretty interesting effects on skin and the appearance of cellulite. No joke. Now I want to be clear. Nothing is going to reduce cellulite as much as getting leaner. <laughs> Nothing's going to do it like eating a good diet, mm -hmm. uh, exercising, getting good sleep, all that stuff. There's nothing that can compare to that. Well, so somebody asked this uh, similar question as this to me. They actually asked specifically about the Juve Light and what I thought about as an investment because I've talked about it. They, I probably post the most about it and use it the most out of all of us. And I actually referred to the Instagram post that Sal just posted up. So it's the most recent post that he's done where he's wearing the cool guy blue blocker glasses. Um, and I and I, I think that I think the post is so important. And I think it's so important that people read it uh, when we talk about products like this because uh, no matter who we who we partner with and and what sponsors we think have a lot of validity and value to add to people's lives, and even if we are using it and love it. We will always stand by. Uh, yeah. This is the priority first. Like you have to know where it fits in the hierarchy of importance. Absolutely. So if your diet's bad, you you're you're got a lot of uh, your high body fat percentage. Um, using red light might help a little bit, but it's not going to help as much as changing diet and you know exercising a lot of stuff. Now that being said, here's the deal. Uh, there's real studies mm -hmm. that actually show that it works. Yep. I, I, so it sounds crazy. In fact, this is how. I got. I finally got convinced to even consider partnering with a red light therapy company like Juve, which you know we've done our research and they have the best uh, products that out that that are out there in terms of uh, uh, you know effectiveness, quality of the light, just quality and effectiveness. But what what sold me was I read all the studies because it sounded too good to be true. Mm -hmm. They were making claims like using red light therapy helps regrow hair. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, reduce the appearance of cellulite, tightens up testosterone, tightens up skin, resists testosterone. All of those sound like the biggest bullshit claims ever. That's a, all my red flags yeah. go up. Awesome snake oil. Yeah, when I hear that. But when you look at the studies, it's for reals. Uh, the appearance of cellulite. They've done several studies on this. In fact, uh, some beauty salons will actually have red light uh, therapy lights there a lot of them, use. A lot of them do. In they fact, do. that was the first time I'd ever seen one was at a, like a salon like that with them using it. So before we even heard of Juve, I remember the first time I saw one of those, I was yep. like, what the hell Now here's that? the problem with the ones at the salon, and here's the truth. The truth is for you to reap the benefits of using red light therapy, you have to use it consistently. Mm -hmm. It's not like a what you. It's not a one-time treatment and then you notice uh, results. So beauty, the, the beauty salon red light, unless you're going to the beauty salon, three to four days a week and using the red light there, it's probably not going to do anything for you if you go get your your, your once a month facial or whatever and then right. use the red light. It's not going to do much. It's a It has to be done consistently. That's what the studies show. The studies show that a regular use of red light therapy you know, has all these benefits. Now, how does it work? Um, well, what the red light actually does, it, it, it actually uh, penetrates pretty deep in the skin and it, it tells the mitochondria of the cells in the body to produce more energy. By producing more energy, you get better collagen uh, production. You get the stimulation of cells to produce hair. So people who are losing their hair, red light therapy has been FDA approved uh, to to you know cause hair growth, uh, regrowth. Now it's not going to take like it's not going to make you from bald to like a full head of hair. But if you're thinning, you notice. My brother noticed a huge difference. Oh. Uh, he actually posted yeah, the- That's pretty dramatic. That yeah. was what this the person that was asking me was actually asking in relation to that, and they know my whole story. And I said, and exactly what I said back to them is, this is what I noticed personally. I noticed that when I am doing it at least three times a week for a good 15, 20 minute session, um, I feel like my hair is thicker. The minute I stop doing it, I feel like it kind of regresses and goes yep. back. And so it's something that- you know, I just have to make part of my routine. And then, you know, I've set it up in our spare room and it's part of my routine. It's actually uh, Max. I'm normally playing with Max when I have it on and I'm kind of just sitting in front of it while I'm doing that. And then I'm also answering DM stuff. 
It's just uh, I've made it into a habit that I constantly do it all time. Yeah, I still use my... I remember there was a study that came out about the cognitive benefits, and I've had it like shining. Every time I go down in my office and I'm doing work, I have it on. And it's mm-hmm. like it's beaming right at my face and right at my head. And uh, so just because like I know that, uh, you know, it's it's not going to be a detriment to me. It's going to be, if anything, it's going to be a positive benefit. So, uh, you know, that's something that I'm just constantly yep. trying to be conscious about, like applying. Yeah, it reduces uh, uh, wrinkles and fine lines through collagen production. So, uh, again, in studies, uh, and these are real studies. People using it on a regular basis saw that their wrinkles got a little... Because if you boost collagen production, you're going to have less wrinkles and less cellulite. Your skin's going to feel a little, look a little tighter, um, you know, a bit more plump or whatever. Um, so it actually legit works, and it's crazy to say that because it sounds so crazy. Mm. But the studies go way back. So this is, by the way, red light therapy is not new. Um, the, the good products are relatively new, but the science has been around for a long time. And scientists, these studies, they go way back. They go decades back where you could see that it actually has these positive effects. Now, really high quality, here's the two drawbacks. The one drawback is it must be used consistently. So it's not something you could do every once in a while. If you use it, use it uh, weekly, probably two to three days a week is, uh, is, is probably best. The second thing is high quality red light therapy devices are not cheap. Right. They're not inexpensive. If you go online, you'll find a lot of red light therapy lamps and lights and they're inexpensive or whatever. They probably yeah, the could, same thing. You yeah. could paint your light bulb. Exactly. Red. It's not going to do the same thing. No. And it's also the, the, the wavelength it's, is it being scattered or is it focused the power? There's a lot of things you want to consider. It's not inexpensive uh, technology. So, but there uh, are options too, like yeah. those little minis. Like I, I do tend to like, you know, that's where I, I'm, I'm more mobile with that. So I'll bring that with me when I need to use it. So they do have options for that. They're a little less, you know, of a dent in your wallet. Well, I look. I tell you what, you know, this is what I said to because uh, we have one at home, and Jessica would use it on her, you know, face and stuff like that. And the way she rationalizes, she's like, look, 15 minutes, three days a week, versus having to spend that much more time putting my makeup on to try and cover up wrinkles or whatever she says it's a it's a trade-off i'm actually spending the same amount of time if not less mm-hmm. so i might as well just use this a few days well, and week. you can multitask i mean i know that my sister the way she uses it right she's on on her computer all day long she just mounts it right up right next to her oh computer. while she's mm-hmm. working yeah so it's just blasting her in the face while she's sitting there working <laughs> so <laughs> make yeah, it sound sounds crazy. great yeah, yeah. Well, i mean <laughs> i mean that and, and that's yeah. how i use it i don't i don't do it just let it blast her right yeah in the face. well i know I, I do other things while and that's part of why i like the big one because the big one illuminates my entire room room, right? So I can kind of like move around a little bit and do things, yeah. you know, so I like to now, be able to multitask. I know how compression socks work in terms of like varicose veins and things uh-huh. like that. Like uh, how, is there any impact, like you could do like compression pants or anything like that to address like, um, what do you cellulite? call it? Cellulite? No, I don't think yeah, so. Just, no. Uh, that's, uh, that's probably more beauty hustle. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, yeah. I don't think so. I know that they can wrap, you can wrap your body with these plastic wraps and whatever, and then you'll get this temporary size shrink. Yeah, and then you know, it's you know, hours water. later, it's it just co- water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 hours later. I don't think a juve light's going to burn more body fat. Although there are some interesting studies that show that it does uh, cause a little bit of an extra calorie burn. Um, so you could theorize that it might, but I think it's going to be trivial uh, that kind of stuff. So I, I wouldn't say burns fat or anything like that. Recovery. Uh, it's been well known that red light therapy uh, speeds up uh, muscle recovery. Um, I know physical therapists have used it in the past mm-hmm. uh, for joint healing and wound healing. Wound healing is where a lot of the science is um, with red light therapy, where it actually uh, helps speed up uh, the healing of wounds. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of applications, um, but if you're doing everything right, um, it definitely works. And oh, Doug's making, he made a note there. That is very true. Because the technology is not cheap, they do offer a payment plan. So you can. Uh, invest in, in red light therapy and you don't have to pay it all uh, up front. 